boy, Scorpio. So I started your pre-shuffle and as you see, the chariot flew out over there and these two uh, flipped. And so um, before I get started, because y'all didn't see that happening, I just wanted to make it very clear that these three cards are your starting point and I'm not so sure that Spirit wants me to split the deck. I think we may be starting right here. Um, let me ask. Spirit, would you like me to split this deck or would you like me to take from the top, please? Which is your preference for me to do for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Stellium, etc.? They're saying split, okay. Split, split, split is what they said. <laughs> split, split, split. So that tells me that three of my spirit guides are very active in your particular um, reading. So we will see what comes up, but we're gonna start right there. <laughs> Scorpio, you got something interesting happening here. Um, Scorpio, first of all, let me welcome you to the channel. If you are a VIP member, truly appreciate you. Subscribers, truly appreciate you. Repeat viewers, thank you so very much for your presence here. Those of you are, that are brand new, very happy to have you here. Please be sure to hit that, that um, lovely thumbs up button and subscribe. Also, Scorpio, my plethora of um, social media accounts is down below. <laughs> I need your help. Um, in order for me to get the custom URL for my Moonbeam Schoolie channel, I have to have more subscribers or else YouTube won't let me have it. So if you can, I really need some subscribers over there to kind of get that process rolling. Um, there's some things that I need to order with the Moonbeam Schoolie um, accounts on it. So if you could help me out with that, I'd truly appreciate it. Thank you so very much. Also, I post a lot of my Instagram story, um, and uh, so if that's of interest to you, do check that out. Scorpio, Ooh, so we get started out here with movement. You could be moving your home, because the Four of Wands can be related to your home. And so it's possible, Scorpio, that in the month of June, you are going to be moving. If you are aware you're going to be moving, then this particular reading is for you. If you are considering moving in June, this particular reading is for you. If you are considering taking action towards a twin flame because the four of wands can be twin flame, then this reading is for you. If you are hoping that you have somebody taking action towards you um, that is your twin flame, this could be for you. If you are getting married, this is for you. All right, so we start out with the chariot. And the chariot is forward movement towards victory. Forward movement towards victory. You could also be attending a festival, just to let you know. I don't remember what festivals are in June. Uh, we have Bonnaroo, so you could be going to Bonnaroo. Um, we also have uh, um, Electric, uh, Electric Forest is coming up, so maybe you're going to one of those, so just to note that. Um, the chariot, the chariot, the chariot. You know, I, I feel like the chariot is representing forward movement that is kind of out of nowhere. See how it's, it's sort of like the energy is fueling this rapid, 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 rapid movement. It's almost like time is of the essence here. Let me move my chair. Time is of the essence here, Scorpio, is what it looks like. So this could be you saying, you know, oh shit, I, I don't have a lot of time. I gotta get this taken care of, or I need to make this move, or I need to take this action. Or this could be another person that's saying, oh my goodness, time is of the essence. If I don't, if I don't talk to Scorpio now, then, you know, uh, there's nothing more that can be done kind of thing. It's almost like it has to be now. It has to be now. Divine timing is saying, go, 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 go. Um, something about this white and black horse. I'm feeling like I need to take uh, cards on this. 
And I'm, I'm feeling we need to do a divine feminine and masculine card because we have the yin and the yang represented with the white horse and the black horse. And then we are immediately followed by the four of wands. So I feel like this is twin flame. Um, so let me take a couple of cards for those of you that are twin flames dealing with um, your twin. Because it really pointed me to the white and the black horse, right? Which is that representation of the yin and the yang, the, the masculine, the feminine, the light and the dark. It's almost like you finally find your balance or somebody finally finds their balance and it's like, oh, shit, time's now. Time is now in order to have happiness. Okay. This says, this is a weird one. <laughs> the force of the flowing river causes the flowers. Okay, so that's kind of like the force the the force that kind of like you have no control over can cause beautiful things even if it's even if it's negative right it's like the force of the flowing river causes the flowers the herbs and the trees to grow so it's like water causes um, the flowers and the trees to go you could be dealing with another water sign the sacred wisdom in your heart has magical power for your spiritual growth this is something I've tried to explain to my twin flame, but without using those words. It's sort of like, like the, the power within you causes your spiritual growth, right? Like that magical power within you. Everybody has the ability to use energy, to use energy in a strong way. And that was uh, what, I've been what I've tried in the past to get across to my twin is that, um, you know, that the your soul can create this magical movement towards positive spiritual growth you know all right offend no one and yet speak the truth be clear with and kind with your words never harsh okay so you or another person is coming forward to speak a truth to speak a truth and spirit is saying, be careful that you do not offend this person. Speak your truth kindly and do not be harsh. So any of us that have a Scorpio placement, sun, moon, rising, right? Or even Venus can have a tendency with their communication to come across harshly. Um, like I know sometimes I have a tendency to come across motherly in a, in a negative light. And I hate that about myself and I can come across as, as a BITC, you know, um, and I hate that about myself cause that's never what I'm meaning. You know what I mean? And so it's kind of like, um, Scorpio, they're saying whatever this is that needs to be expressed between you and another individual to express it, try not to be offensive. Um, speak your truth, but be kind and not harsh with your words. Okay, so if you have a twin flame dynamic here where you're needing to speak your truth, they're saying do so kindly. We also have um, the four of wands immediately after that. Once again, I feel like this is movement towards a new home or movement towards a twin flame, um, movement towards some sort of exciting celebration. But yet there's this energy here with the seven of wands where perhaps, perhaps there's this energy here of saying, you know, am I making the right decision? So let's say this were moving towards a marriage because the four of wands can sometimes be a marriage ceremony. There may be this focus, Scorpio, on whether or not you're settling because we have the white and the dark, the white and the dark horse. It's like things are moving too fast, perhaps. And this feeling of, oh, you know, am I settling? Am I settling for something that I don't want, right? It's kind of like needing to express the truth of, you know, maybe you don't want that marriage. <laughs> maybe you don't want to get married. And why is this, you know, why are you being pushed in that direction? And it's kind of like, you're saying, wait a minute, hold up, hold up, hold up. 
because there's a defensive energy here where you're sort of closing yourself off. The Empress, I mean, here we go. We got more twin flame energy, more twin flame energy. So let me take, let me go away from the marriage energy that was showing up and back to twin flame for just a minute. Um, I really do feel that if you are a twin flame Scorpio, there is this spiritual connection between you and another person and the spiritual connection between you and this other person, you may be holding yourself back from others because there's this potential for a new beginning in this particular connection, this divine connection. Perhaps you've been fighting to bring about some sort of change in your life in order for you to take this step. Ace of Swords. For me, this has the Ace of Swords has kind of like an Albert Einstein vibe to it. <laughs> Because of all of the this mathematics that's like showing here, you know, and so here I'm sorry, here it is, it's right, right there. So it kind of has this Albert Einstein vibe to it when we're pulling in, you know, this kind of divine union, divine souls energy here, and so you know, Albert Einstein and his and his um, you know theories related to time dimensions that I, I find to be very fascinating. Because when we encapsulate how twin flames are possible, and I'm getting technical on you, so if you need to fast forward, double click the right, that's fine. Um, but if we look at how twin flames are possible, right, we have to look at um, the aspects of quantum entanglement, right? How two people can exist with the same energetic blueprint at different locations has been shown through quantum entanglement and how two particles can exist in the same, in the same um, way and in, in the same, you know, all, all the same energetic aspects, but yet be in two different locations. And then when we look at Albert Einstein and the theories on time, um, we also look at the, the fact that the past, the present, and the future can all coexist um, within the same, same space. And so, it's almost like Scorpio, and, and I know I'm getting a little bit technical, but most Scorpios can handle that. <laughs> so if you're a cross watcher feeling like I'm like kind of out in the weeds, I'm talking to the Scorpios. <laughs> so Scorpio, it's, it's like after a great deal of research and after a great deal of introspection, you find your direction, you find what's going to lead you forward, you find what's going to make you happy you find your truth, right? And it's and it says here, to offend no one yet speak your truth. So you find your truth in this period of introspection, this period of deep reflection of learning and knowledge and, and gaining wisdom through unusual means, which is very much a Scorpio trait. The lovers, okay, so. <laughs> Once again, we're being brought back to Twin Flames. So I really feel like I'm reading for a Twin Flame. Um, we, we have a decision being made. I return to someone that you have this really, really deep physical connection with, right? Let me take one more card. Ace of Coins. So the new beginning. Um, I definitely see the potential for two twins reuniting. Um, Scorpio, it appears to be in your hands though, because it looks like you're the one who's going through this period of, of um, obtaining knowledge and introspection and making this choice for this new beginning. And so it appears to be within your hands to um, you know, make that possible. But we also see with the intensity of the connection with the lover's card, this is sort of like that energy of um, a Scorpio being the ruler of sex, right? And the ruler of, of things sexual. It's important to note, it's, there's, it's almost like there's this energetic sexual connection. Um, so you can really connect to your twin flame Scorpio through the act of masturbation. I know I'm getting very adult. No, eight, 18 and younger, you know, anybody younger than 18, this is not for you. 
And so we have the Five of Swords it's here with regards to the Chariot and the Four of Wands. This is like that intensity of, um, you know, overthinking the twin flame dynamic, overthinking the forward movement in this twin flame dynamic, you know, possibly fighting and bickering with somebody else regarding a twin flame. It's, it could be that, you know, you have this twin flame you're not connected with, but yet the person you are connected with knows that your heart is with the twin flame. And so there's this constant bickering and fighting about the twin flame. Nine of Swords. And the more you remain closed off to other people, the more frightening this becomes to other people in your life. It's interesting. So let's say, for instance, Scorpio, you're moving too quickly towards a marriage and you're choosing to remove yourself from that because there's somebody else that you're wanting to deeply connect with. We have two aces. So There's a new beginning over here and we have a new beginning. Um, if, for instance, you're moving to too quickly towards marriage and you're recognizing that that's not where you want to be, um, this particular difficult energy here with this, um, you know, are you settling energy? Is there a fear of moving forward because you know it's not your person? Then I do see that you're going to make a change there. If, however, this is just fears and worries about, you know, what do I do about this twin flame connection? That's normal in a twin flame dynamic. It's normal for two people to go through periods of time of feeling that way. And that's because each individual has to go through their own, um, their own growth, their own spiritual awareness, their own spiritual, uh, spiritual connect. Uh, I'm not saying connection, spiritual, um, uh, awakening. And here you are, Scorpio, the King of Cups. That's Scorpio and Libra. Um, so here you are. We literally have the energetic heart expansion, right? It's like, Scorpio, you're meditating. Maybe you're not a meditator and you're suddenly finding yourself meditating because you're trying to connect with your twin flame. Um... It's almost like there's an awareness of the telepathic bond. It's like there's so much energy being expressed here. Energy here, energy up in here. Uh, you know, the, it's almost like the energy in this particular card leads directly into the energy that, that surrounds the Empress here. So I feel like Scorpio, you're energetically meditating or connecting or telepathically connecting to your twin flame. The world, look at that, and there's more energy. The explosion, I feel like your twin flame can feel it. No doubt, they definitely can. And there's going to be a potential for a new beginning here. It's almost like the excitement that comes from that epiphany moment, that this is what you want and that's what you're going for and that, you know, this is your person, you know what I mean? Look at that, the emperor. This could not be any more twin flame. This is crazy. The emperor, the empress, the four of wands, the lovers. This could not be any more twin flame, you know, if we tried. No wonder they kept saying split, split, split the deck. Um, Scorpio, regardless of whether you identify with the divine feminine energy or the divine masculine energy, I do see the epiphany and the, um, the planning of returning to a twin flame either on your end or their end. The hangman, gaining a new perspective on what love is. You may have gone through a very difficult struggle and after a time of you know gaining knowledge and reflecting and going through this spiritual connection, feeling the energy that exists between the two of you, the awareness of the telepathic connection, the awareness of the energetic connection, being able to feel your person from a distance or from, you know, no communication. And there's a new perspective on this particular connection for you. This is flipping beautiful, beautiful. Nine of cups, yep, look at that. Look at the heart explosion. The heart explosion of energy here between these two. Oh my goodness, I love it, love it, love it, love it. Scorpio, it's a wish come true. Wish come true. 
temperance. That's reconciliation, but it's also patience and it's also the spirit saying, hey, let's let's bring this energy between the two of you. Here's the yin and the yang, the sun and the moon, right? The sun and the moon represented here, the feminine, the masculine. Let's bring this energy back to a point of balance, Scorpio. Spirits guiding both of you to that point. Six of coins, there may be an awareness that somebody needs to give to the connection to balance out the energy. King of coins. King of coins is an energy of staying power, really, persistence. It's like the persistent energy of the king of coins always gets what they want, right? So perhaps we have an emperor here that's focused on, okay, how do I get what I want? I know what I want is my twin flame. How do I get it? How do I how do I move forward with something stable here? I do see the stable, the stable, you know, new beginning, but it's kind of like how how to move forward towards that twin flame with the stable new beginning. Five of coins. After a period of some regrets and difficulties, it's almost like, will this twin accept you or not? You know, what comes after that? Three of wands, nine of wands, that's the staying power, the not giving up, eight of wands. Okay, so we got some communication coming in. Um, this is a little bit of a free spirited energy. You know, Scorpio, you might be dealing with a free spirit. Um, you know, we definitely see <laughs> that kind of energy here. We see the free spirited energy between you and your twin flame here uh, very strongly and uh, a whole lot of passion and it looks like some really exciting communication. Queen of coins, look, it's your person. It is your person, Scorpio. It is your perfect match for stability, for connection, for long, long term. It's like both of you have the ability to make this work. Both of you have staying power. Both of you have not given up on each other. Both of you are loyal to one another. Um, it's absolutely, absolutely freaking beautiful. June 2022. That definitely wanted to come out. Scorpio, June 2022. A time of healing and a win-win outcome is forecast. A time of healing. The end of a tough cycle approaches. So the end of this cycle of overthinking, this end of this cycle of difficulty is approaching. It's a time of healing for you and your twin flame. And we have a win-win outcome is forecast for both of you. We definitely see the win here with the Ace of Coins. So it looks like this is going to be positive for you and your twin. Release. So that's releasing this negativity. Releasing some something in order for you to move forward. Surrendering. Oh, the realization, the epiphany. Here it is. It's, like, it's almost like the realization that your twin is your twin and your twin is your perfect, your perfect person, right? It's like the realization that you belong with your twin flame. The realization that your twin flame is your perfect match. Um, the realization that that the future that the future that exists in front of you involves your twin flame. Miracles and blessings in the heart of the matter. There's more going on than meets the eye. Um, be in the present and dream of the future, and I love you. 
So the heart of the matter, there's more going on than meets the eye. So maybe this overthinking has been you thinking that something else was going on and Spirit is saying there's more here, there's more going on here than meets the eye. It's like there's a new beginning, card number 22. Miracles and blessings, believe that everything has a perfect, um, perfect way forward and be present, be in the present but dream of the future. When you dream, everything is possible. Everything is possible because I love you. That looks amazing. I love you. Three powerful words. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to leave you on that. <laughs> I'm going to leave you with that. All right, Scorpio. You and your twin flame, there's a whole lot of love here between the two of you, and um, I wish you well. Love and light, and I shall see you again soon. Bye.